You know, behind every antique gold or silver bar, there's a story. And our next guest is a storyteller, real fun guy. He's been studying the history of collectibles for literally decades. Absolutely, and he's a huge fan of heavy metal. Woo! <laughs> our friend John Jankowski is back, the owner of Las Vegas Coin Company in Henderson. Hello, sir. Good morning. Hi. Good morning, viewers. How are you doing today? There you go. I mean, our, our table is worth some money. Whoa, right? we do have some money on this table. There's my over friend. a thousand ounces of silver on this table right oh, now. Man. Silver is oh. at, a, at a very low point in the last few months, especially right now. And so. Historically among the lowest of recent months. Yes, actually, within Ooh. about a year. Wow. And so this is a great time to buy silver. Uh, one of the reasons you buy this is to protect your assets, just like you have insurance on your car. If mm -hmm. you have an accident, you need insurance. How does this protect? A lot of people, they, they'll, you know, my dad, for example, mm -hmm. he you know, puts the money underneath the mattress. He doesn't want to put okay. it in a bank or anything like that. But that money every day is worth less and less and less and well, less. Well, yes, and less. it is. Yeah. And so I would not take all of my assets and put them into precious metals. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I would put some of them, maybe 15% of my liquid assets into precious metals. It protects you this way. Our currency, all right. Oh, this is, is totally un this is unplanned, He's folks. Out some money. Oh, all right. What the hell? Well, this, Whoa, well, this is. What? I, I'm what are you doing here? Flaunting all this cash? What are oh you doing? <laughs> Floyd Mayweather? What are you? You're <laughs> fighting people that. I look just wow. like. I just look like him too. Wow. You want to take us out for lunch after this? Jeez. Okay, go ahead. But here's my point. Okay, sorry. This hun <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That was fun. <laughs> This $100 bill probably cost the government 80 cents to make. Yeah, true. That's a nice business okay. to be in, yeah. all right? Mm -hmm. There's nothing valuable about this banknote. Other than that we say it's valuable. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. One day, at, at the stroke of a pen or the touch of a computer key, yeah. this could evaporate. Yeah. Russia's done that. Mexico's done that. Yeah. It happened in Argentina with our help. And so one of the protections you have is this right here. Because mm. you can't print silver. The Federal Reserve looks at the price of gold all the time. Yep. Mm. And they have for decades. Uh, gold and silver, it's like shining a flashlight on a room full of cockroaches. Ah. The cockroaches start to run away. Yep. This is real money. Mm -hmm. That's how you protect your assets, or at least part of it. I'm not sure I totally got that cockroach analogy, but... <laughs> okay, got it. <laughs> <laughs> I, was I, like following, I was following you up until that. Did you get it? Yeah, sort of. Okay, all right. Sorry. Say, Just hey, roll with it, okay. <laughs> <laughs> moving on. No, uh, so question. Uh, Sean and I have often admired silver bars. I don't know, there's just something about it, and uh, you can feel the value. But what is the difference, or is there any difference between investing in coins and investing in a bar? Does it matter what format you buy it in? Well, I would recommend getting the smaller ones first. Yeah. Okay. But the 11-year-old in every one of us loves 100-ounce <laughs> bars. Of course, I yeah. know. Now, what, you want to look like a baller. You have oh, a doorstop that's a silver bar. Actually, gold bar. true story. Guy came into the store. His wife, he had bought nine of these. Yeah. Not from us, but he had, had acquired them yeah. over a period of time. And for security reasons, he thought, I need to put these somewhere safe. So he painted them black <gasps> and put them in his backyard. Wow. Well, which is pretty... That's discreet. Oh, yeah, it listen, is. No one's going to be checking the Well, yeah, guess the what? What? He comes home one day, and his wife has totally cleaned the, the backyard unannounced, no. which was totally unexpected. No. He said, what happened to that? Oh, I threw all that out. No. Nine 100-ounce silver bars. No. Yeah. Oh, boy. That's like 15 grand. Well. See, he should have told now, his wife everything. Yes, now, he should have. <laughs> he's on the market. <laughs> so. so. Yes. <laughs> uh, I would blame I, that on my husband, definitely. Talking about currency, by the way, okay. uh, there's some currency is worth a little more than others. You brought in a couple interesting I brought in here. something interesting. Cool. Yeah. This is a $20 bill. Yeah. Okay. And on it, on both sides, it says Hawaii. Yeah, it does. They made these in one, five, ten, and $20 denominations. And here's the interesting part. When Hawaii was being threatened by the Japanese in World War II, they began to introduce those bills into currency and they took out the old ones. Now, could you imagine being an eight-year-old in Hawaii? You wake up one morning and you see this dollar bill, and, and mom, exactly why is this note looking like this? Yeah. And she says, well, if the islands we live on are conquered by the Japanese, they're gonna withdraw all the currency and this will become valueless. Uh -huh. And you're eight years old and you go, conquered? What? Yeah, exactly. exactly, what is that? <laughs> That can't be a good thing. We're uh, running out of time rapidly. Okay. Uh, you, of course, you, you deal with the collectibles as well and just Aww. random stuff. What, what the heck? I do bring, that was a changed casino? thing from a casino. I couldn't resist bringing yeah. it in. Yeah. 
You bring something interesting in every single time. I need change <laughs> over here. And change. also, people need to change their attitudes. Ah. And oh. think about, ah. Wow. <laughs> oh, this was, this was a symbol you wanted to bring in. Don't hit me with that. About 900 ounces of gold. I would oh. use this as a dagger. It was silver. Uh, <laughs> John, great yeah. to have you, buddy. Love you. Great to okay. have you. Th Lost. Thank you. Yes. You did what? Las Vegas Coin Company is on <laughs> Southeastern Avenue, right across the street from BJ's Restaurant and Brewhouse. South of the 215, their number and website are right there on your screen. Las Vegas Coin Company, a proud sponsor of the Morning Blend. It's I guess. never wise, gentlemen, to do things and not tell your wife about them. Like my husband dug a trench yesterday without asking me where to dig it. <sighs> I don't advise it. I wonder who he was planning on throwing in there.